Beautiful souls. Okay, I'm gonna just get straight into the video. So you met a man that you're in love with, very good man, the love of your life. But there's only one issue. His dirty ass, trifling ass, the narcissistic ass mother-in-law. Now, is she a overbearing mother or is she a narcissist? You know, stay tuned to this video because we finna get into it, okay? So yeah, the narcissistic mother-in-law. First of all, the, with the narcissist, you have to understand that these people have no empathy. They don't care about other people. They're very self-absorbed. You understand what I'm saying? They only care about what can serve them or what's within their best interests, not anyone else's best interests. Also, with the narcissist, these people love to downplay other people or like to make other people feel inferior to them on the outside because we all know intrinsically a narcissist has extremely low self-esteem. That's why they project their insecurities out to other people or try to gaslight you, you know, try to make it seem like the other person's crazy. They want to play victim all the time. And that's especially true with this narcissistic ass mother-in-law when it deals with her child, mostly her son. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get into the story. And I'm going to tell you about my story that I had with a narcissistic mother-in-law or my narcissistic mother-in-law. So, boom. All right, so I met a guy. You know what I'm saying? We was hitting it off fell in love with one another so he tells me that you know about his backstory about him being in foster care and whatnot and about him having you know not such a close relationship to his people so his mother I said you know what you know I could understand why you wouldn't want to converse with other people but your mom you know I think maybe you should try to you know contact her or reach her due to unforeseen circumstances he was taken away from her at an early age or maybe around eight years old so that's a very pivotal point in a little boy's life or any child's life at eight years old you're still in your developmental stages you understand what i'm saying so for even that to happen that must have been hard on him even hard on his mama but fast forward um i had come into you know a little fortune so i'm like you know what you know we should go visit your mom tomorrow you know, boom, I book a flight, we out there. You understand what I'm saying? I said, I want to swim with dolphins. I want to have fun. You know, I want to have a good time. You know, let's go do something. So we did just that. But I said, you know, the my main objective was for him, his mother to see him and for him to see his mom. So he sees his mother. We surprise her, you know, that whole spiel. So fast forward, you understand what I'm saying? There are a lot of instances that happen that I didn't really pay attention to, but it ended up happening where, you know, it ended up coming up later on, which would tie in to why I believe so heartily that his mother is a narcissist, the guy's mother. So fast forward, we're on the beach. It's me, him, his mother, and the mother's boyfriend, right? Out of nowhere, the mother comes out and says, oh, I can't do this. And uh, I, you know, I can't see her and do this. I'm like, what is she talking about? You just fucked the whole mood up. We out there in Florida in the Pacific, o the Pacific Ocean, swimming, having a good time. You understand what I'm saying? He's going to come out here with this BS. So I didn't know what she was talking about, but I guess her boyfriend was looking at me, allegedly, in my bathing suit. So aside from that, the night before, you know, I was, I had fell asleep. If y'all don't know, like, it's hot as fuck in Florida. In the summertime, like, it was beyond hot. It's like that sweaty, hot, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't even describe how hot it was. It was just very hot and humid. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. It's very hot and humid. And although I did have a very long dress on, the narcissistic mother-in-law tells her son, that she caught her boyfriend looking in the room that I was at and that I had my legs open. So first of all, the way she described it to her son, she made it seem like I wanted my legs to be open. And I did that intentionally and basically tried to undermine me or attack my character. This was all behind my back. I had no idea about it, but it did come up later. So fast forward, you understand back to the beach scene. I told you that she, um, 
she stopped and said, oh, I can't do this. I guess he was looking at me again. First of all, you understand what I'm saying? If you got a nigga that, that's with you or a man, that's disrespectful for him to do that while he's with you. You have no business to being with him. That just shows me where your self-esteem is at, sweetheart. That has nothing to do with me or for you to go and try to attack my character. You understand? Narcissists love to project things out onto people but due to their insecurities or whatever it is that they got going on intrinsically. And then they try to gaslight the son. She try to gaslight her son and manipulate him. Narcissists are highly manipulative. She manipulates the son to make him believe that I had my legs open on purpose for her boyfriend to see while I was asleep. So first of all, you dummy, it's like, what are you doing having your boyfriend looking at me? You catch him looking at me. If you had any sense, you'll let him know. Call him out on his shit and check his ass. I wouldn't even be with nobody like that, quite frankly, because, you know, what is it that you're doing? Like, what are you doing? Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you have no business doing anything like that in the first place. You know, but fast forward. You know, she's there while we're still there. You know, it was just a lot of trouble. Like, you know, she was just crazy. She was cursing her boyfriend out in Spanish. It's very toxic. And I felt like I was at fault because, you know, I said, man, I, I brought him down here. And like, but it wasn't my fault. She was cursing him out in Spanish, but I understood what she was saying because I know Spanish. Cursing her boyfriend out in Spanish, you know, just very toxic. You know, her mood changes like real quicker than what the weather be changing. So fast forward, we get home, right? Before we left while we was down there, she um she was just saying that like um she was just very nice in my face, acting very loving, trying to find out information. They will fish information and try to find out a lot about you to find out like what they can use against you. You know, these narcissists. I kept it very bland. You know, she knows very little or she knew very little and whatnot. So I just kept it at that because you don't need to be in my business like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fucking you. I'm fucking your son. So, you know, you're irrelevant to me. Okay. But anywho, like I was saying, so fast forward, she nice in my face. But the guy seen the man that I was involved with seemed very irritated. And I'm wondering why he's so irritated. He plays the message, the video message she sent him. Y'all, when I say that she dragged my ass in this video message, she did just that. And he seemed very upset and disturbed by that. So, I went back into his phone, onto his Facebook, and saw the video message because he hadn't deleted it. She said something to this effect. While we were down there, she tried to give him medications that's specifically for GERD or gastric reflex because he had a stomach ache and I stepped in I said no nah, I don't take that you know I have a herbal tea that I want to give him that attacks specifically information I'm more of a herbalist I like natural remedies I'm not into the pharmaceutical industry even though I am a nurse still I'm not into the pharmaceuticals but fast forward boom she tells him like oh she's not even a real fucking nurse I didn't like that shit that she... Well, let me do it how she did it because she them, them demons got activated, y'all. I didn't like that shit. Yeah, she's not even a real fucking nurse. I, I don't like it. I don't like who that shit are telling me that. I don't like anybody telling me anything in front of my son. Them demons came out, y'all. I'm for real. So when I saw it, the video message, I was highly amused. So I just sat there and actually looked within. So I didn't want to come out and attack her. You understand what I'm saying? Even though she was dead wrong for everything that she said in the video and how she went about it, I still didn't attack her. I just sat, I said to myself, went with them and said, what is exactly is wrong with this lady? And I sent her a video message back when I saw that message, okay? She sent him one, so I sent one back to her ass to let her know that I saw the video message that you sent him. You understand what I'm saying? Something else she said in the video message was, was that the the tea that I was offering him, the Chinese herbal tea for inflammation, was going to kill him she said yeah y'all she said i'm trying to kill her son the, the narcissistic mother-in-law yeah she yeah, she's trying to kill you she's not even a real fucking nurse i am a nurse by the way but that's neither here nor there she said i was trying to kill him fast forward in the video i'm not a real fucking nurse i don't like anybody trying to do that to my son i went in on her ass i said i still want to be respectful because you know this is somebody's mom but you got to let these people know, you know what I'm saying? Even though, even these mothers-in-laws. So I told her, I sent her in the video message that I'm not trying to kill your son. You know, I love your son. I'll never do anything to harm him. 
and I told her to stop asking him, calling him for money, using him. Every time I look around, you and your family members, I call him, ask him for money, stop doing that shit. I didn't say shit. You know, I said, stop doing that. You call him, asking him for money when you got a whole boyfriend up there. That man that you're living with and laying up with is supposed to provide for you. So ask him, don't ask man for money. Don't ask my man for money. You know, I don't care if you gave birth to him or not. Like, I'm fucking him. I ain't fucking you. You know, you're irrelevant to me. That's my mindset. That's why I told her. I ain't tell her to, you know, I'm screwing him part. But that's why I told her that, you know, your man is supposed to provide for you. And I told her this is the first and last time I'm going to address this issue. You have to set up boundaries with these people. You understand what I'm saying? I said this as respectful as possible. And I also told her the issue. I said maybe that you're jealous because you got your kids taken away from you. You understand what I'm saying? And maybe you feel me as some sort of threat that I'm trying to take your son away. Or maybe I have more influence over his life than you did because he got taken away. I don't know what the issue is, but that's what I'm intuitively, what I'm picking up. So I did say that in the video to her as well. And I told her, you know, I'm just going to keep it at that. And God bless you, you know, peace and love to you. I said it as, you know, respectful as possible. I was very respectful. So, boom, fast forward. She calls my guy at the time. She calls him. And just blows everything out of proportion. She played victim, which is what the narcissist love to do. They love to play victim. Because if you would have never said anything in the first place, mistreated me while I was down there when I brought your son to you, I would have never had to send that video to you. Like, let's be real, but if you care and love about, love this person, you understand what I'm saying? The man of the narcissist, the son of the narcissistic mother-in-law, you know what I'm saying? Stand your ground, set up boundaries, and let them know you're not playing with their ass. She calls him, boom, so she calls him, says some, uh... I was being, you know, I'm rolling, snapping my neck. Who am I to tell her that I can't ask my son for money? Um, once you put a ring on your finger, once he put a ring on your finger, you was mama now, ho. Like, I'm I'm the mama now. I'm running shit over here. You're not running nothing over here, sweetheart. You got to let them narcissistic mothers-in-laws know. Be very direct. Set up boundaries with their ass. And if the spouse is not with that, then... He's a mama's boy, and you need a real man. You need to let his ass go. Like, for real. I told the dude after she got off the phone, because she transferred that demonic spirit to his ass. I'm, I almost had to punch his ass. I'm not even going to lie. He said, what did you say to my mom? I'm like, oh, shit. She didn't send this demon to you. I said, what you mother about? Yeah, that's not what she's saying. Okay, I still had the video. It's a shame I had to show proof that I wasn't lying. And when I showed it to him, oh, she didn't tell me that. I'm like, I know she didn't tell you that. I said, I'm not going to deal with this. Either you tell her, set up boundaries, tell her to mind her business, you know what I'm saying, and stop talking about me, or, you know, I'm not finna deal with this for the rest of my life. Like, for real. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta set up boundaries and let that man know. You know what I'm saying? Because boys, I know that men, they, they got a soft spot for their mom, but at the same time, this is your relationship, your life, and you don't have to be miserable. You don't have to put up with that. Somebody's mom, respectfully tell her. Call her out on her shit to let her know who runs stuff, and men are just like that, and don't don't even feed it to no more. Once you set up boundaries and say what you said, me say what you mean and mean what you say and leave it at that. I don't have nothing else to speak about. You understand what I'm saying? Especially you chosen one. You're going to activate people demons inside of them anyway just by being around you. Because by their perception, you're better than them. Way better than them. You shine that light. And by exposing these narcissistic ass people including his narcissistic ass mother-in-law, exposing them would bring them demons out, just like I brought the demon out of my, mar my mother, um, narcissistic mother-in-law. So just set up boundaries. You understand what I'm saying? Say what you mean to me, what you say. And if he's not with it, let his ass, go, his, um, the little mama's boy go. Plain and simple. It's not, it's nothing else to talk about if he take up for somebody that's clearly lying on you, that's clearly has... A very unhealthy relationship with with and that they've been manipulating them their whole life call people out on their shit like don't be don't be scared to speak your mind because what the what, what they gonna do like for real like let's be let's be serious and don't be scared either but yeah um i just wanted to share my story you know if any of you guys had the same experience you know i want you to like share and subscribe tell me about your situation with your mother-in-law 
your narcissistic mother-in-law excuse me you understand but yeah peace and love to you my infinite love to you god bless you guys